What's up everybody, my name's Jared. As you can see, I'm an overweight guy who is out on the golf course. I enjoy golfing. I decided to use today as a day to get out and get some exercise, walk nine holes and record it along the way. I'm playing today at Beaver Creek Meadows, a golf course in Lisbon, Ohio. Relatively flat course, easy to walk for a big guy like me. As you'll see during this video, I have many swing faults. I don't play that well. I enjoy the game. Let's see how we get on. First drive. Pulls a little left. Hit was actually pretty decent. It was a uh, cool day. About 50 degrees. Pretty windy. Second shot here, first hole, I'm left with 84 yards. Try to finesse a little pitching wedge up there. And we hit it ever so slightly fat. Ball, as we'll see, ends up short, left on the green. I left the pin in because the putt was pretty far. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see the hole, and heck, it's almost 2019, anyways. Roll it up close, walking up, figure it should be a tap in. It's about two, two and a half feet. In my mind, I'm thinking easy par to start the day. No. Push the lip out. Bogey, one over. Second hole, par three. 130 yards. There's a little pond you have to carry, but it's not really in play unless you're 20 yards short of the green. Six iron here. I kind of fall out of the swing a little bit, and we end up right just short here. There's a little ridge or mound going up into the green. I'm figuring bounce it into that will be okay and we land it about seven yards short of our intended target. Putt from the fringe for par. It's tracking and just past the hole. Clean this up for a bogey. Figure I like to golf, use exercise as I know I need to lose some weight. Let me guys let me know how you guys like this. Maybe try to do some more of these if, even though it's winter time going to be coming up here in Ohio. Bogey's in, then we'll move on to the third hole. Short par four. There's a slight dog leg right. One thing you'll notice in these first couple holes, I've been trying a pre-shot routine that seem to be working but as you'll notice I tend to stop doing it later on in the round and that while probably not the prettiest of swings for me it's about the best drive I've had on this hole in a while left me 93 yards in for my second shot 
anything. Anytime I'm usually less than 100, like I don't hit my wedges all that well, so I tend to try to go with half swing. So I got me a 9 iron here. And as we see, I lose my balance a little bit on the swing. Ball ends up just at the front right of the green. Like, just on the green. Decent little putt here for par. Or sorry, for birdie. It's going to break a little bit right to left. And it breaks too much. But now, again, like the first hole, we should have a little tap and par clean up. Woo, we got a par. Two over through three. Fourth hole, straight away par four. From where the tee box is, I think it plays maybe 270, 280 tops. Wind's coming off the left. I'm aiming a little left. You'll see the ball started out over the pine trees on the left. It actually was a little bit left of what I wanted, but with the wind and a fade, ends up center fairway. Here we have 82 yards left in. I actually kind of don't like this shot most times on this hole. It feels like if you end up short, it bounds forward. If you hit the green, it stops well. So with 82, I was going to try a little pitching wedge. I figure if it lands short, it'll bounce up. As we'll see, I land just on the green, and my ball stopped there. So I'm now left with another lengthy par putt. Sorry, lengthy birdie putt. Fairly straight, maybe a little left or right. And this putt just ran on further than I thought. And a little clean up for a par. Fairway green, two putts. I'll take that every time. Two pars in a row, two over through four. Fifth hole, only par five on the front. Dog leg right, you can't see it. But on the right, there's a pond. Bunker straight ahead's pretty much always my target line. I think it's about 240 or 250, so for me, it's out of reach. And a common theme it seems so far, another pull to the left. Decent hit though. Horrible result here. In the trees. <coughs> so now, we just try to get ourselves back into play. Got a three hybrid. Anything forward out of the trees is okay and then we kind of push out to the right but again we stay in the fairway we leave ourselves in decent spot just further back than I anticipated here our third shot into the fifth we have 160 yards and we're gonna take a four hybrid which starts left gets up over the trees and then with the wind that was coming off the left ended up 
okay front part of the green lengthy birdie putt two putts from here though with the drive off the tee we'd be a happy camper and we just can't hit it hard enough to get to the hole there Mark, I think we have about three feet or so, maybe four. We just kind of give up on the putt, push it out to the right. Three putt bogey. Ends our little par train, three over through five. Six holes, the longest par four on the f this front nine. I think it plays about 360. Pretty much straight away though, if you hit a drive about 230 or 240, there's a little bit of a downslope in a valley. I tend to almost always end up on the right side of the fairway or right tree line here on this hole, and today is no exception. We do manage to stay in the fairway, and it's actually the right third, but It's there. And we left with 164 in. Wind's kind of off the right. Slightly in figure. Try to hit a three hybrid. I don't like ending up short on this hole. Slight pull. And into the bunker. Close to the edge, but just enough room that I can get a stance. I have a 58 degree wedge. It doesn't go that far, but splash it out almost like a pro. We have about 20 feet or so here for par. Going to be left to right, up a hill. And we go just past the hole. Tap it back in for a bogey five. We're now four over through six. The seventh hole here is a 172 yard par three. Wind's coming in, as we've kind of noticed, a trend. I don't hit the ball very far. I have a three wood here, just hoping for the best. Honestly, the wind's probably blowing in 15 miles an hour, maybe 20. I probably could have hit a driver here and been okay. Just obviously with the par three, it's a narrow window, so it's not fun to do. Here I'm pitching back into the wind. I'm thinking I want to be aggressive. And in doing so, I take a 50 degree wedge. In reality, I should have probably took 54 or 58 because it's into the wind and it allows me to be aggressive. Hindsight's 2020 though. Here's our par putt from again 15, 20 feet. Just rolls by the edge, goes on by a good four or five feet. We need to make this for a bogey. Nope, pool job. Three putt, bogey five, double bogey five. Now six over through seven. Eighth hole, 350 or so yard par four. 
there's a hill and a valley just short of the green. I very rarely if ever get there. I'm always at the top of the hill. Usually anywhere from 120 to 150 out depending on pin and conditions and how well I hit the ball here. We end up right third of the fairway, 150 yards out. Wind again is coming in and off the left. Taking a five hybrid. And with my over the top swing, I manage a slight fade into the center of the green. If we could ever get shots to the green close, maybe we could score here, but keep leaving ourselves on putts. On the plus side, when they're fairway and then green, if I can two putt, I manage to be okay with it here. Just runs close and just keeps on trucking. Now we have a tester up for par. Looks like 8 10 feet, maybe. Wind shaking the camera. And another three putt bogey. Seven over through eight. I always say when I'm putting, if I can get the speed right, I'll be happy because the line probably won't be too far off there. You go eight feet by, you end up with a three putt. Ninth hole, about a 270, 280 yard par four. Straight away, start up the trees on the left, a little fade, perfect drive. Left myself 66 yards in. Just gonna try a little 50 degree gap wedge. And two holes in a row we go, fairway and green. Again, another lengthy putt. Might be hard to see, but the hole's up there next to the flag. And it starts raining here towards the end of the round, so I get in just in time. able to tap in for a two putt par. Guys, if you enjoy this and want, want more, let me know. I'll try to keep up with the comments. See you next time. Bye.